Hello everyone, Christina here. Welcome back for another video. Today I'm using the Love You Bunches stamp set as well as some black watercolor paper to create a card. So this uh, black watercolor paper is five by seven and pre-cut in this small pad. So it's really great. I'll have a link down below if you're looking for some black watercolor paper. And I'm going to be stamping in Versamark ink and then heat embossing with white embossing powder on top. So now I'm using my Misty and I'll uh, prep the area with an anti-static powder tool and then I'll get to that stamping. So I apologize, my voice is still a little bit off. Um, this cold that I got when I came home from vacation is just sticking around. It is lingering. It is not going away. Thankfully, it is not COVID, but um, it's just been so long since I've had a cold. I'm like, I don't even remember how this feels, but I do. I do remember, and it's not fun. So anyway, I thought I'd just share this video with you today instead of going live. This is actually being posted on a Friday, which is when I would normally go live, but since I'm feeling sick and not really up to crafting, at least when other people are watching, <laughs> um, I thought I would uh, post this video on Friday. So I'm tapping off the excess and then hitting it with my heat tool. And I'm actually going to be painting all of these flowers and leaves with my Christmas set of watercolors from Muley Watercolors. These watercolors are beautiful on a dark surface like this black watercolor paper. And the color palette on this is just amazing. I love it so much. So I've put a little bit of water on all the colors I want to use. And then I'm just going to start painting. And the embossed lines resist any of that paint. So it's really user-friendly for painting. I'm going to speed up the process and turn on some music. So enjoy the painting. After all of that very simple painting was complete, um, I decided I would cut out this heart. And I think there's a die set that goes with this stamp set that would cut out this heart, but I don't have the dies and they're not with me, obviously, and they wouldn't fit in my little tiny die cutting machine that I had with me in Hawaii. So I'm using a pencil and just drawing that heart around the stamped image. And this is going to give me a guide for how I want to cut this out with scissors. Now, if you wanted to, you could just go for it and not do this pencil line, but I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and I wanted to make sure that I had a nice smooth line when I cut it out. So I'm using the scissors uh, to cut them out. And fun fact for behind the scenes, 
Um, one of the die sets that I used, I think it was in my first Hawaii video, um, the dies weren't cut apart and I didn't have tweezers with me or like wire cutters. So I used these scissors, which was not smart. And they now have a little catch in them. So when I came home, I actually ended up buying a new pair of scissors and these went in the trash because I ruined them. So, uh, you know, mental note, uh, when you're, when you don't have wire cutters, don't just use your nice scissors to cut apart some dies. Maybe just don't use those dies. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, I cut those out, cleaned up the pencil line with an eraser. And then now I'm taking some masking paper and I'm going to cut out strips to use, um, on this card front and I want them to be an inch wide. So I'm just making a mark on my masking paper at one inch, and then I can connect these lines with this small ruler. This ruler is only six inches long. I really wish it was like 12 inches long or 11. Um, I'm wishing for that. Simon says stamp, I want one like this, but I want it bigger um, because I use my T-square ruler um, most often when it's at a longer length. So I love this ruler. I just wish it was longer. So, but I got that around that by just connecting the two cut lines from each end. And as I was cutting, I realized that the width of the ruler was exactly one inch. So after I cut this one out, or maybe even the, the next one, I decided I didn't necessarily need to measure one inch anymore. I could just use the width of the ruler and that would be just fine. So I started to just cut them out using just the width of the ruler. I didn't measure it beforehand and that, and that worked. So my idea behind these uh, strips of masking tape or masking paper that I'm cutting down into tape is that I wanna mask off a really wide border on this card front. So this is a five by seven card front and I'm taking these strips that I've cut and putting them right along the edge of the card. And I'm gonna do that for top, bottom and both sides. So then I have a perfectly proportional center area where I can do some ink blending. So I'm going to use um, one of the dot stencils from Honeybee. This is the Polka Dots background set. And I think this is the largest of the dots. And I'm going to have to add a little bit of a diagonal. I'll tape that in place. And then I'm going to start blending with some Dove ink from Concord and Ninth. So I've, I'm going to have a pretty dark application for the dots. And I want to get that all the way on there. And then I'm going to peel this up and I'm going to add just a very faint blending over the rest of it. And that's going to help define that edge because otherwise it would just, the dots would just be stopping and, and not, they want, there wouldn't be an edge and it wouldn't, you wouldn't have that complete rectangle in the center, if that makes sense. So I did a very, very light blending of this ink, super, super light, almost to the point where you're like, is it going to show up? Sure enough, when you peel back this masking tape, you can see how it has a nice, clean edge, but it's, but it's a very, very faint application of that ink. So I peeled off these masking paper tape kind of strips, and then I'm left with this center area. And at first I thought I wanted the card to be a horizontal card with that heart right in the center. But then I realized turn that way, it kind of covered up too many dots. So I decided to turn it and have it as a portrait card. So I put some foam adhesive on the back of my heart, just some foam squares, and I put that directly on the front of the card. As far as the greeting goes, in the stamp set, there are some really, really long lines of text. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to have this long line of text hug the curve of the heart. And this was something that I have done in the past, but um, this time it, in particular, it was really difficult to get that curve. I think it was worth it in the end. And at first I started with my transparency grid sheet just on top of the heart. And I was trying to get it to stay in place. And it was being super, super difficult. It was hard to get it to stick. And I was struggling trying to get this in place. So after struggling with this and trying to get it to hug the curve of that heart, and I tried to come down and pick it up with the door of the Misty and things were just moving, it wasn't going well, I figured out, oh yeah, just slide it under the edge of the heart and maybe that'll uh, flatten out things and give it a little bit more um, stability. And that was what it needed. It needed to have that transparency grid sheet completely flat. And then I was able to really press that stamp down onto that transparency and get it to stay in place. 
So it just took a little bit of time, but I think it was worth it. And then when I picked it up, I just peeled off that transparency grid and then inked up my stamp. Now this was a very risky move. Who knows if that curved stamp was going to work, but thankfully it looked perfect. And I loved the kind of swinging the door of my Misty over and seeing that it was in the right place. So that is the card for today. A pretty simple card all in all, in all but it has a lot of impact with all the different colors and the inking and masking. So thanks so much for joining me today. I will be back very soon with another video. I've got a couple more cards that I made in Hawaii, and then we will wrap up this uh, capsule paper crafting challenge and we'll get into some new stamps, lots of new releases coming out. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.